Coming up on this episode of the Talking Mac Podcast, we're going to be talking about Mac OS 10.5 Leopard, 10.5.2 Plus, your free Mac tip of the week, and your free Mac download of the week. Stay tuned, you will not want to miss it. Welcome to the Talking Mac Podcast. How you doing? It's season three, and guess what? We got a new logo. We got a new website. It's season three. We're off on our third season of this show. Um, we're stopping commercials. Commercial stop here, and uh, we'll tell you more about what's to come in just a second. But right now, it's time for this week's Apple News. Apple News for this week consists of. Apple released Mac OS X Leopard 10.5.2. Now, this includes fixes to a lot of major problems that people have been holding out on that Leopard has had, so they can upgrade from Tiger to Leopard. We'll tell you more about that in the upcoming segment of the Talking Mac podcast. This has been Apple News. <laughs> Alrighty, a lot of people have been complaining about the commercial breaks and stuff on the YouTube channel. Well, the reason why we did commercials is because we have we saved the good stuff to the extended version. But um, and we're taking out the commercials. We stopped the sponsorship because a lot of people have not been liking it. So if you could go to talkingmac.dk because we still got to get keep the bills that are coming in and we need to have the money to pay for them. So talkingmac.dk is where you can donate to us via PayPal. Please do that. Well, Leopard 10.5.2 came out. Now, before we get into it, here's uh, we have a couple of new segments. The free Mac download of the week and the free Mac tip of the week. Not the free Mac tip, just the Mac tip of the week. So right now, here is the Mac tip of the week for creating web clip widgets. Hello and welcome to this week's Mac tip of the week. This time, creating web clip widgets. Leopard makes it easy to create a dashboard widget from a segment of a web page. These web clips appear automatically updated whenever you open Dashboard. We navigate to a home page of a website, and in Safari we click the web clip button next to the address field. The entire page darkens save for a bright rectangle. Drag the rectangle from its center to the edges until the cover the entire segment you want to capture. Then click Add, and Safari sends, it, sends your web clip to Dashboard. If Safari doesn't display the web clip button, choose Customize Toolbar in Safari's View menu and add the button to Safari's toolbar. Now the web clip appears as a new widget in Dashboard. You can still edit it, move around your cursor over the widget's lower right hand corner until a small letter I appears and click it to resize or position the content, or customize this border using a built in style. This has been your Mac tip of the week for creating web clip widgets right here on the Talking Mac Podcast. All right, welcome back to the Talking Mac Podcast. You can get uh, your Mac free Mac download of the week by listening to the extended version of this podcast at TalkingMac.tk, where we have where you can subscribe in iTunes, My Google Audio, all this cool stuff. We just got so many ways for you to for you to uh, let's see what you can subscribe in Miro, Google, iTunes, YouTube. You can go, please, you guys, subscribe to our YouTube group. Uh, where we have a forum over there, you can subscribe through Blip TV, My Yahoo, Podcast Ready, My AOL, Podnova, Audio, Page Flakes, News Gator. You can subscribe via email if you click that big green button right under the uh, Talking Mac pay- player. Uh, you can download the episode and please, you guys, download the Talking Mac widget. Uh, it it's a t- it's just basically a player for the Talking Mac podcast. You can get all the info up there. You can play it. And you, it, it plays right through dashboard. You can even when you close dashboard, it still plays, so you don't have to have anything external open. And right above the player, we have a little button that says "Get Desktop Photos for Your Mac." This is a Flickr feed that we set up so that you can get desktop photos every week, along with the podcast. You will see desktop a desktop photograph for your Mac right there. And one more thing before we get into this, um, 
with the Talking Mac channel. We're changing the Talking Mac channel for season three. It's going to be the podcast, youtube.com slash Talking Mac, but there's also going to be a lot of videos coming up. Yeah, videos. Actually, screencast videos don't, about software and all this cool stuff and tips and tricks for Leopard. So we're going to be making it more of a of a community here so we can tell you what to do. And, and then we'll have a Talking Mac podcast. So every week around Tuesday, we'll upload another video. We'll upload a video. So Monday will be the podcast. Tuesday will be the video. And you'll see it right up there, youtube.com slash Talking Mac. So subscribe there and then subscribe over to our Talking Mac website, TalkingMac.tk. Leopard 10.5.2 has rolled around. There's a couple of changes that stood out to me. I have it running here. And it took only about 30 or 40 Believe me or not, it took about a minute and 20 seconds for uh, for it to download the 180 megabyte file. It was pretty fast for me. Um, so obviously the dock has it was updated for stacked with the list view option and a folder view option and updated background for grid view. There's just a couple of things that change at the desktop. Desktop addresses legibility issues with the menu bar with an option to turn off transparency in desktop and screen saver preferences. Right now I have a background that makes my uh, menu bar like a light blue and looks great to me. So I'm just going to keep it that way. And there's a couple of changes with iCal. iCal. Uh, it pros iCal so that it accurately reflects responses to recur- reoccurring meetings. Um, Address is an issue in which the meeting may remain on the calendar after being canceled. Address is stability issues related to dot .Mac syncing of iCal calendars. Now, I know that's a big plus, especially if you use dot .Mac. Um, results in an intermittent issue with editing an event which attendees would cause uh, the event to shrink and not register what that the event was updated. Now, I know I didn't say that right, but, you know, basically there was a problem with an event will not register even when the event is updated. So a lot of that stuff is changed. And there's a lot more we're going to be talking about and stuff you need to stay away from. Stuff that it might that the new Leopard 10.5.2 might break. Uh, you, you definitely will want to stay tuned for that. TalkingMac.tk's where you can listen to the full episode. And TalkingMac.blip.tv is where you can listen to the full episode there as well. And, uh, of course, you can subscribe and just about everything imaginable at TalkingMac.tk, our new website. We've It's totally new. New graphics, new everything. So, uh, now it's time for our free Mac download of the week. Hello and welcome to the free Mac download of the week segment right here on the Talking Mac Podcast. This week... App Cleaner, uninstall applications easily. App Cleaner 1.2 Beta is a free application of OS 10 for OS 10 that allows you to completely uninstall applications from your Mac easily and quickly. It is not sufficient to just delete the application since applications can distribute many files throughout your system. App Cleaner will find all of those files associated with an application and safely delete them. There are versions for both Tiger and Leopard. It has a new and improved interface compatible with Leopard Now, delete unwanted widgets, preference panes, plugins, screen savers, and much, much more. You can download App Cleaner 1.2 beta version at TalkingMac.tk right under this week's episode in the show notes sections where you can download App Cleaner and uninstall applications utility. Right here on the Talking Mac Podcast, this has been your free Mac download of the week. The free Mac download of the week. Here's where you can download the free Mac download of the week. At TalkingMac.tk, right under this week's podcast. Scroll down. A lot of people don't scroll down, but you scroll all the way down. You'll see a show notes section beside our email addresses that you can click and then open up your favorite email application and email us as well. So right there, you see show notes. You'll see a description of the free Mac download of the day and a link where you can download the free app, free Mac download of the day. Uh, free Mac uh, app download. For, I don't know what I what we call it since we just started Season 3 and we have a lot of new changes here. So we hope you have enjoyed on. Um, um, our new format. It won't be as much talk. It'll be more content next week, but I just had to tell you guys this in the YouTube portion. So we hope you're enjoying Season 3. Hope you like our new logo. The designer spent a little time working on that. And I uh, hope you like more information instead of the commercial breaks. Like the free Mac download of the week. We hope you like the free... Uh, I'm sorry, the Mac tip of the week. Hope you like that as well. So you'll find the free Mac download of the week, a place where you can download it, right there at uh, TalkingMac.tk. And we hope you like our new intro music. Um, we of course we want you to like that. All right, so 10.5.2, I will upgrade to it. But uh, stay tuned to TalkingMac.tk. We'll tell you a lot more things that have been updated and stuff you need to stay away from. If you have a question that you like to email us, email us questions at TalkingMac.tk. Questions at TalkingMac.tk. Remember, your mind is like a parachute. 
It will not work unless it's open to think outside the box. Think different. In this case, you wonder about that. Think different was Apple's tagline for a, a, whole, a, for a couple of years there. So this has been the Talking Mac Podcast. We'll see you next time. Visit our website, talkingmac.tk.